Hello and welcome back to Studio 90 Extra Time. Today on the couch, we have a man who started his very first World Cup match against England, Robbie Finley. Yeah! <laughs> first of all, congratulations on your performance and on the result. Tremendous. Um, you were a long shot to make the World Cup team. Uh, you had a good pre-World Cup camp. You made the 23. Two excellent performances in, in the warm-up matches. Uh, and then you find yourself starting against England, of all teams, in the first World Cup match. It's only your seventh cap. Uh, now, we all know that you've been working for this your whole life, but didn't it seem like things happened real quick for you? Uh, yeah, I think it started uh, back last year when uh, we had won the MLS Cup. Just a whole bunch of st stuff started happening after that. So I uh, got called into those, uh, those uh, games earlier this year. Um, and then next thing you know, the, the, the camp for uh, the 30-man roster was being called in. So it's happened really fast, but just like you said, I've been working really hard for it. Now, when you found out you were, you were starting, I'm not sure when Bob told you guys, but when you found out where you were starting, what were your, your first thoughts? Were you surprised or what were your emotions? Um, a little bit nervous, Yeah. but it was, I think, an exciting, nervous feeling. Yeah. Um, and I just told myself that it was just like any other game that I'd play with them when it was, I mean, it's hard to say that when it's England, yeah. but um, that's what I tried to tell myself and uh, just told myself to go out there and do the things that I've been doing. Well, that's some mental toughness if you can convince yourself uh, of that. Now, just talk about the experience of standing there uh, in the national anthem. You know, they panned the the starters. Uh, you know, you get each of you guys had your hands on your shoulders, and you, you know, you had your eyes closed, you had your head down. I don't know if you're singing or you're praying, but what was going through your mind at that time? I usually just put my head down and pray. Just, just thankful for the opportunity. I do it before every game, so uh, just pray that be a safe game. Uh, Everything will go all right, and for the most part, just have fun. Now, I, I, I said to myself, I said, that guy's ready. That guy's ready to play against England. Um, all right, so I'm sure you had conversations with the coaching staff before the match. Sort of what, what role did they ask you to play? What did they ask of you against England? Um, to be active, uh, find those gaps in between their, their uh, midfielders and then in front of their center backs at times, and then if I get the opportunity to go 1v1 and, and put them on their heels, so uh, they have to chase me all game. So. Right. Um, just depends on, on how they're playing and how the game's going on, on my role. Now, obviously, you've played a few times with the national team before this, played a ton of MLS games. Was this game faster than any game you've ever played? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, at the international level, that's, that's what you're going to get. Uh, that's what I've seen since I've been a part of the national team. Uh, a lot of it, uh, things close down quicker. Uh, guys are a lot stronger. Um, and it's just, it's just a whole other level. So uh, um, I've gotten used to it. And, I'm enjoying it. Well, to, speaking of that, that next level, you know, it's a World Cup match. They're all physical. Um, but it seemed like near the end of that match, it even kind of ramped up a little bit. Um, Gerard got Clint Dempsey. You got Gerard. Um, but talk about battling those huge England center backs yeah. uh, for the entire game, or I mean, as long as you were in. I've watched plenty of games where those guys have played, in, and they're definitely uh, tough guys to play against, and, and they go hard into, into tackles and stuff like that. So we knew what we were up against, and they were going to be doing the same thing. I mean, they're playing for their country, so um, we were ready for it. And at times, we had to we had to do the same thing to them. Um, I didn't really mean to <laughs> to get them like that, but <laughs> it happened. Uh, all right. So, what was your view of Clint's goal? You know, happened in the 40th minute. Where were you on the field? What did you see? Um, I think I was around the, the top of the 18 yard box and saw him take the shot. And I saw it hit the keeper's gloves, and it rolled to the right of him. And I saw a cross over the line, and I don't—I don't think anybody else saw it before, but I saw it rolling, and then Clint ran off celebrating, and everybody was celebrating. Did you chase him? Where were you? Yeah, I tried. I tried. <laughs> I was at the back, and I was far away. Got there when he was done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Now it seems like the team—you know—big emotional night, obviously. Um, very good result for the U.S. team, but it seems like from talking to the guys that everyone's done a really good job of sort of no matter how big that game was, it was just one of three and now Slovenia is the focus. Can you sort of talk about the team mentality in that area? Yeah, uh, I mean, a lot of the, the main focus was that England game, like you said, and um, I think now that we're going on to the next game, we told ourselves we are going to take it a game at a time. That's what you have to do. So uh, um, that game's passed us. Uh, we got a pretty good result, and um, now we just got to focus on, on what uh, Slovenia's going to throw at us. Now, uh, you had a great uh, MLS season last year. Obviously, you guys won MLS Cup. 
Um, have you heard from any Real Salt Lake uh, teammates since you've been over here? Words of encouragement or congratulations? Yeah, um, Kyle Beckerman, Chris Winger, and I actually lived with them last okay. year, so uh, got some emails from them, and then actually from my coaches too, just just sending me good luck uh, emails and and wishing me the best, and uh, just be confident out there when I get the opportunity. Well, I'm sure you've had a big uh, sort of support staff, and, and and a lot of people help you get to where you are today, and. Um, once again, congratulations. Uh, tremendous uh, performance against England to earn the United States, uh, to help earn the United States 1 1 tie in the first game. That's one point. Uh, that's Robbie Finley. And we're coming back with the back four quiz. Yeah!